Hi everybody, I'll give you some tips how to get the best looking footage out of your DJI Air 2S drone. Here we go! 20 megapixel 1 inch sensor on new DJI Air 2S delivers impressive quality in both video and photo. I love this drone. Its smart flying modes, safely features and great camera makes my filming process so much easier. So what makes this drone so special? It's 10-bit D-Log video that has higher dynamic range and gives you so much more room when it comes to color grading. It can also shoot 10-bit in HDR and 8-bit in normal mode. But D-Log is my profile to go, so if you plan to color grade your footage, this one is for you. There are a few things that you have to keep in mind to ensure you get the best footage quality of your drone. So shoot with manual settings. One thing you don't want is to change of exposure and color shift in the middle of your shot. This is what happens when you leave your settings to auto. This will easily ruin your footage. Manual settings you have to adjust. White balance. Depending on the lighting conditions, for example 5600 is correct white balance for the most of the daytime. When it's sunny and a little bit cloudy. For most overcast day, you might even set it a little bit higher to warm up your footage. Next is shutter speed. As a rule of thumb, it should be approximately double the number of the frames per second you are recording. In this example, I shoot 30 frames per second, so it should be 1 to 60 to preserve natural motion blur. This is the time when the ND filters come handy. Without them, footage would be simply overexposed. The last setting is ISO, try to maintain it as low as possible without underexposing your footage. You can also use zebra stripes that will help you properly expose your subject and see what's in your footage is overexposed. You can also use histogram to help you expose your scene. When it comes to control, don't forget to allow upward gimbal rotation. In advanced gimbal settings, you can also change pitch speed and pitch smoothness. I found that pitch speed set at 15 and pitch smoothness set at 20 will give you smooth gimbal movements. Now go out and fly, check these settings and practice your flying. Try to avoid making fast and jerky drone movements. Remember, practice makes better. In next video we'll check automatic flying modes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See ya!